In 1915, a wealthy 39-year-old lawyer from England named Cecil Chubb was sent by his wife to an auction to buy a new set of dining chairs for their house. But as he was sitting in the audience waiting for the bidding for the chairs to start, the auctioneer announced something else that immediately caught his attention. You know the world's most famous prehistoric monument? Probably not off the top of your head, but it's Stonehenge, and believe it or not, they were auctioning off Stonehenge. For some reason, no one seemed to be too interested in buying it, so Cecil decided to outbid everyone and gift the monument to his wife as a romantic gesture. He spent just over a million US dollars in today's money, but when he went home and told his wife about her gift, she was not thrilled, probably because he'd forgotten to buy the dining chairs she'd initially asked for. So, three years later, Cecil decided to donate Stonehenge to the British people instead. He announced that the condition for his gift was that the attraction would forever on be accessible to everyone, and no one would have to pay more than just one shilling per visit. And Cecil would later be given the title First Baronet of Stonehenge by the Prime Minister, and we have him to thank for transforming what used to be a privately owned good to an incredible public attraction.